Literally guys, right when I walked out of this movie, this movie made me want to do this. Never made a difference by being like everyone else. The Greatest Showman is directed by Michael Gracie, a director debut by Michael Gracie, and stars Hugh Jackman, Zac Efron, Rebecca Ferguson, Michelle Williams, and Zendaya. And this movie basically is a true story about P.T. Barnum, played by Hugh Jackman, who created the biggest show business ever in those times, and one of the biggest circuses that became a worldwide sensation. This is an original musical, so this is a musical that no one haven't saw before. It wasn't based on Broadway. This is totally an original musical just like La La Land. In fact, this movie took from the lyrics of La La Land, so I'm more excited for this film. Like, right when I saw the trailers, I'm like, this movie's gonna be a really amazing film. This film looks like it's gonna be a good musical. Until this movie have a bit of mixed reactions from my people. Some people didn't like this film, some people loved it. Even the IMDB and Rotten Tomatoes brains are very very, like, difficult, like 8 out of 10 on IMDb, and Ron Tomatoes got like 50 something percent. So I went to the film thinking, I don't know how I'm gonna feel after watching this film. Guys, literally, right when I walked out of the film, I literally wanted to go on my laptop and wear those earphones and listen to the soundtrack of the musical moments because I freaking enjoyed The Greatest Showman. Seriously, guys, The Greatest Showman was really good looking, like, the cinematography and all that stuff, the art. The, the, like, the direction they are taking was fantastic. This is a really amazing looking movie. It feels like you're in those times that that circus was actually made. And I really enjoyed musicals. Like, my favorite musical of all time is Les Miserables. I know a lot of people didn't like that film. I really enjoyed that film. There are some elements in the film that I felt like, how did they film that? Like, seriously, the artistic moments were amazing. Let's talk about the casting. Hugh Jackman. P.T. Barnum, my god, he did fantastic in this film. Hugh Jackman can be in any movie he can, and he'll be great in it. Like Prisoners, I loved his performance in Prisoners. Very dramatic performance, and I really enjoyed him in that movie. Him as P.T. Barnum, I think this is one of the best musicals he's ever been in. Like, him and Les Mis Rob, I thought he did a fantastic job. But I think The Greatest Showman, I think he did something a bit more amazing in this movie. He did great, and he sings really freaking well. You can tell that's his voice. And I know Hugh Jackman can sing. He's been in some Broadway musicals, and I think this is the movies that he wants to be in more than he wants to be as Wolverine. But, so, that's fantastic, and he did great in this film. Even Zac Efron, I did enjoy some elements of him in it. Like, he was good in the film. I think this is one of the better performances I've ever seen Zac Efron in a long time. I know he can sing. He's been in high school musical and all that, but I think this is one of the most mature musical performances I've ever seen Zac Efron in. He did fantastic. Most of the cast did great. Michelle Williams, Rebecca Ferguson even did good. Even this woman who played a bearded lady, I thought she did a fantastic job in this film. And she can freaking sing fantastically. And like, when I saw it behind the scenes with her singing, I'm like, she can really sing. She can sing fantastically. Fantastic. Most of the cast did fantastic. And speaking of singing moments, the musical moments, the soundtrack, the musical moments in the film were amazing. I told you, I went home, where my earphones are, listened to the soundtrack again. If I would say my favorite musical moment, it is Come Alive. It's not This Is Me, it's not The Great Show, it is a musical moment called Come Alive. That music was one of the most catchiest music I've ever heard in a long time. I literally just want to stand up and do this. Like, literally, and I think if you watch this one, you'll probably feel that as well. Most of the musical moments were great. There are some musical moments that did drag on, and that comes to my flow. Some of the musical moments did drag on. Like, I think the first musical moment in the film, even though it's a really beautiful song, I think they dragged that song on a lot. And in my opinion, I didn't really enjoy Zendaya in this film. Now, I'm not saying Zendaya's a bad actress. I thought she did fine in Spider-Man Homecoming. This movie, it feels like she needs... A romantic interest with Zac Efron. I think they just need a romantic interest, Zac Efron and her. I think that's why they put her in this film. Zendaya didn't do bad, I'm just saying that she can sing great. Like, with the scene where Zac Efron and her are singing Rewrite the Stars, I was like, it's fine, but it's probably my least favorite song in the entire movie. 
And there are some moments in the film that I feel like this film is a bit strange at parts. Like, seriously, there are some musical moments in the film that I feel like... I don't know, it's kind of strange in my personal opinion. When you watch the film, you know what I'm going to mean. Because there are some pretty weird elements in the film. But that doesn't change the fact that I still freaking love this movie. Guys, The Great Showman is probably one of my favorite musicals now. Like, honestly, I think it's better than any other musicals I've seen. Oh, okay, maybe I dragged on. There are some musicals that are a little bit better. But I still think this is probably one of the best modern musicals I've ever seen in a very long time. In fact, this movie got nominated from Golden Globes. I'm not sure if it won anything. I haven't seen the Golden Globes yet, but I will check it out. But, guys, go see The Great Showman whenever you can, because, in my opinion, I'm giving The Greatest Showman an A-. minus. So guys, have you seen The Greatest Showman? What do you think of that film? Comment below, let me know what you think. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and have a nice day.